we officially now have the best and new AI software engineer that is completely open source and even capable of beating Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It's called Open Hands, which is a framework that we had covered multiple times on this channel. Now recently, we had made a video on Open Hands covering its new major updates such as its development framework extension with the new UI, as well as a few minor updates. But the devs behind the project are back again with the new extension to the framework called Kodak 2.1, which now achieves state of the art results on the Sway Bench benchmark test. And it currently achieves a 53% resolution rate on the Sway Bench, which surpasses even Claude 3.5 Sonnet being the best coding and software development AI agent. Before we even dive into this update, allow me to reintroduce what Open Hands is truly about. Open Hands is a platform that you can access today where you can use it to deploy AI agents to tackle software development tasks. Open Hands agents can do anything a human developer can, where you can modify code, run commands, browse the web, call APIs, and yes, even copy code snippets from Stack Overflow. It's quite powerful and now having it connected with the Kodak 2.1 framework, it's even better. Now before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. So what is the Kodak 2.1 agent that is now deployed? within open hands well it's essentially a new powerful coding based agent that was powered by the new claude 3.5 sonnet model that was just recently launched from anthropic last month and essentially they have configured this model to tackle tasks even better now in the sway benchmark test which is a benchmark designed to basically evaluate lm's capabilities in addressing real world software engineering challenges and essentially within this benchmark test they were able to record the kodak 2.1 agent to significantly surpass many of these other frameworks even claude 3.5 sonnet which is just insane to me and the great thing is is that you can actually get started with this right away and even install this today they essentially released this new framework that can handle a wide range of tasks by running python and bash commands all driven by language models and essentially they based this off their single agent research paper that they released and this is where they they have focused on the ability to configure an agent as well as having it coupled with different sorts of teams of agents to tackle tasks and subtasks and they had this paper that discusses this further in detail based off of executable code actions and this is something that i definitely recommend that you take a look at because it's super interesting but essentially they have the new agents where it's going to be running python and bash commands and there's three main components to it you have the ability for function calling which is going to have provide more improved precision and letting the model specify functions directly they also are going to utilize the new claude 3.5 sonnet model so that it could provide more of a better coding based capability to the agent and you lastly have the directory navigation fixes which is going to enhance the agent's ability to navigate through different directories and this is essentially what makes this new code 2.1 agent surpassed many of these other frameworks so you must be interested now and you may be wondering how can you get started well it's super easy you have a quick start menu on their documentation which will showcase how you can easily get started there's a couple of system requirements that you will need to fulfill beforehand this is where you need to make sure that you have docker version 26.0 so make sure you install the latest docker version which i'll leave a link to as well as all the other links that i use in today's video in the description below after you have that prerequisite fulfilled you need to make sure that you have python installed and once that is installed if you're going to be installing this on windows you must use wsl which is a subsystem for linux so if you do not have this make sure you install this onto your computer if you're on windows but once you have these prerequisites fulfilled since i'm on windows i'm going to simply open up ysl and once i have wsl opened up i'm gonna have 
uh docker opened up so make sure you have docker uh running in the background before you get started and once docker is running you can then easily go back into the github repository you can simply copy this command over here and you can simply just paste it within your command prompt this is going to pull the docker container and it's going to install all the necessary uh, requirements for this project this will take a couple of seconds but once it's finished i'll be right back and it looks like it is finished installing and you can see that it's now running on our local host so go over to this local host link which you can access within the github repository and you can see that you can start interacting with open hands so first things first you're going to need to provide your cloud 3.5 sonic api key this is the best way possible to utilize open hands it's the only way you're going to be able to access the code act 2.1 agent not kodak the rapper kodak agent so simply go ahead and provide your op our anthropic api key and then we can proceed forward once you do provide your api key you can see that the ui for open hands if you have used it before has changed even better you can see that you can now start interacting with this by requesting to build things with a single prompt such as writing a bash script to show the top story on hacker news you can even open up a repository via github or you can import a project by uploading a zip file something i forgot to mention is that you can even utilize open source models such as from a provider like olama or even lm studio you can see that there's various providers that you can utilize and something else to note is that you can even utilize the anthropic claude 3.5 haiku model which is the new model that was just recently introduced so if you're interested in that definitely utilize the model of your choice but in my opinion like i said claude 3.5 sonnet is how you can utilize the new kodak 2.1 agent so now let's request it to do this command to write a bash script so let's go ahead and send this in once you send in a prompt you can see that it's going to start utilizing the same artifact type of ui to execute your commands it's going to first develop a plan for you and you're going to be able to utilize this workspace to see all the changes being made so we can see now the green light has been given to our ai agent to start executing the task so from here what it's going to do is it's going to start creating the simple plan and all the changes as well as execution are going to be made within your terminal and going to be displayed within your workspace so i'm gonna go ahead and let it generate the base of the script and i'll be back once it's finished and there we go we have the script written this is where we had requested to display the top stories we have it displaying all these top stories and it has graphically made it look a little bit better so now what we're going to be doing is going back to the main page and we're going to be requesting it to generate something else but something i forgot to also mention is that if you are to click on the bottom right three dots you can connect this to github and upload this to a repository or even download this as a zip but let's go ahead and exit this project and let's request it to generate something else so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have it design an ai chatbot web app that's similar to ChatGPT. so let's go ahead and send in this prompt and let's see what it's capable of generating and the best part is you're going to be able to click on this browser tab which will show you live updates as to what is being generated so once it is finished generating i'll be right back so look at this so i went from developing the code and now we have a fully functional ai chatbot that was developed within a couple of seconds because of the code act agent so now let's take a look and basically explain the agents and the capabilities so you have these different types of acting agents and in this case the main agent is the kodak agent that kodak has in not the rapper but code act agent and it's designed to simplify and enhance the actions of lm agents and what's going to basically happen is that this kodak agent is going to consolidate all of these different action items into unified code action spaces so this will basically make the agent more efficient and easier to use and basically have it so that's easier to send in these different actions it starts off with an observation it will then send it over to the agent which is going to then have it consolidated and it's going to think about it plan it with different th types of methods and algorithms like chain of thought you have self-reflection and improving action from prior observations from here an action set which will basically have the kodak agent have unified action space within a different environment or have it sent within a conversation to the user 
and within this loop it's going to be able to work on enhancing and having a more efficient and easier way of generating an ad set now at each interaction you're going to be able to see that the kodak agent can have a conversation meaning that there's going to be a communication with humans in natural language so this is where you're going to be able to chat with each step of the generation which is something that we saw with prior examples you also have kodak which is going to choose and execute tasks by running code and it's going to choose the best approach based on the situation you have it able to be executed with any valid linux bash command or execute any valid python code which is basically an interactive python interpreter and this is something that is used to run the python code that is simulated through bash commands for more flexibility on the back end you also have a plugin system and this is where they have basically made the kodak agent more powerful with the use of different accesses to bash action spaces you also have the ability to integrate various other plugins you have different actions that you can set in you can observe with different things like langsmith you have methods a planner agent which is another type of agent and this planner agent will basically utilize a specialized prompting strategy to create long-term plans and this is for solving the different problems that is sent in to the framework itself and just to emphasize on what sort of lms you can use like I mentioned, you can possibly use any LM with this framework. You can have a pull request with Olama, meaning that you can utilize all local large language models with open hands. But that's essentially it for today's video on the new Code Act 2.1 release from Open Hands. This is definitely a game changer, and it's something that I definitely recommend that you try out because at the current moment, at the current date, this is the best framework that outpaces many of the other things that are out there, such as Claude 3.5 Sonnet for complex software engineering tasks, as well as Klein, Ader, and many of the others. Now, I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and thanks so much for watching, guys. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Peace out, fellas.